what's up and welcome back to vibe with me we are now vibe <laughs> today i'm gonna show you my take on brazilian roasted pineapple this pineapple is so easy to make and it is so delicious there's nothing that I like more than the roasted pineapple on the ham. So if you're not in charge of the ham and you want to get down on the pineapple, yo, this is like too easy. So if you want to check it out, follow along. So first things first, your pineapple. You want to pick a pineapple that smells sweet. So. You can smell when it's ripe. Also, you don't want these um, to pull out too easy. You want to be able to have a little tug. People are so intimidated by pineapples. Don't be intimidated. Pineapples are friends. So I'm gonna show you how to cut it. You want to use sharp knives when you cut. When you cut with a dull knife, it's actually harder. It's actually more dangerous. Sharpen your knives. First, I'm gonna go ahead and chop off the top. Look at how easy that is to cut. Now, the tricky part. I like to just cut it down the middle. Cool. And then there's the core that you want to cut out. So I'm just gonna cut down here. And then I'm just gonna cut it on the other side. Core, out, bam, moving on. Then I just like to cut these in little spears. Okay, so we're done with that. Then I just like to cut off the outer layer and we're done, we're done. Not that bad, right? And we have our nice little, we have our nice little spear. I don't know what it is about weird shaped food that people are so weird about cooking with. Are you intimidated by pineapples? I think it's just like the weird shape. Thug life. I'm so excited for these. Okay, so first we wanna preheat our oven to 450 degrees. So, we preheated our oven. We became pineapple cutting pros. Now, our brown sugar. Brown sugar, we're gonna add a little bit of Cinnamon. Make sure it's all mixed in. I have my pan with my little Amazon baking sheet that I love so much. I'm gonna go ahead and link it down below. This keeps everything from sticking and it's so easy to clean up and I definitely recommend it. Now we're gonna coat. Get yourself a little plastic baggie. Fold the sides over. And then just pop these in. Ah, yes. Look at that. Oh my gosh, these are gonna roast and this is gonna be caramelized. The inside is gonna be super ooey gooey. Yes. Pop them on in here. Is your mouth watering yet? How's it look? What do you guys think? You guys can try this or what? Let me know in the comments. And then we just pop this in the oven. You wanna keep your eye on these because the brown sugar, it's gonna to start to caramelize and once you get your desired caramelization, you pull it out and you enjoy. I mean, they smell so delicious. Like literally, that is it. And then I just like to plate these, toss them around a little to get the um, nice syrup that we made. <laughs> Look at that. You know, this dish is so easy, but it's so flavorful. If you're going somewhere uh, for the holidays, don't ever show up empty handed bring something and you know homemade is always better than store-bought always and even if you wanted to you could go ahead and get the sauce from the bottom of the pan and look at that 
just go ahead and drizzle it on over. You know what I mean? So easy, so delicious. So I don't even wanna hear any excuses from y'all. So what do you guys think? Do you guys like this recipe? I like to do, you know, easy, healthy recipes and easy, not so healthy recipes. Let me know what you think. I think we're done playing. We need to taste. Okay, can we taste it now? So you'll see that it's baked in the middle. The outside has a nice caramelized layer. Smells so good. Mm. I can't even explain how juicy this is. Mm -hmm. Baking it, like you can see the juice is coming out already. My mouth is watering. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. So good. Every holiday table needs to have this. So if you wanted to serve this, I mean, you could cut them up. You can dice them up in little pieces like this. Yo, you're gonna love this. Perfect Thanksgiving meal. I wanna know what's going on with you guys. What are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? What are you guys thankful for? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, you know, I'm so thankful for you guys following along my journey. I love cooking. I'm so passionate about it. And I love even more to share with you guys. And so, from the bottom of my heart, Thank you so much for letting me do what I love. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a like or subscribe to my channel for more recipes like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, go hit that subscribe button now. <laughs> Yo, as always, I love chilling with you guys. I love vibing with you guys. And you know, I'll see you soon with a new recipe, okay? Peace.